One of the storylines in the Ring of Power is about one of the Hobbit tribes that will later inhabit the Shire, the Mossbugs, and I thought it would be interesting to tell you more about this tribe, and at the same time, what other tribes of Hobbits exist and how they differ from each other. General facts about all Hobbits. A bit of history. Once upon a time, Hobbits lived far to the east of the Shire, beyond the Maglisti Mountains, near the forest of Yasni Bor, which later received the name Liholesi. Already there, their people were divided into three tribes, depending on their habitat and external qualities. However, over time, they decided to move westward. Tolkien did not give the exact reasons for the resettlement, but among the probable ones are the growing number of people in the lands where the hobbits lived and the shadow that fell on Yasni Bor, turning it into Lycalesia. Either way, the hobbit chiefs received a charter from the king of the kingdom of men, Artadane, allowing them to pass through their lands and settle in the southwestern lands of the kingdom to guard the bridges and maintain the roads in that area. Technically, the hobbits became vassals of Artadane, so when the humans went to war against the kingdom of Angmar, where the witch king ruled, the hobbits sent a squad of archers there. The humans won the war, but not a single hobbit warrior returned home. When Artadane ceased to exist, the Shire became virtually independent, but its eastern borders were guarded by the trackers of the north, preventing wandering bands of orcs. Now let's move on to the hobbit tribes. The Mohawks. This is the tribe that's shown in Rings of Power, when they were semi-nomadic. However, in canon, this tribe originally lived in the foothills of the Misty Mountains, in caves, burrows in the hills. It is known that the moss bears were friendly with the dwarves, as they lived near them. Among all hobbits, they were notable for their adherence to tradition and closed-mindedness, yet were the first to trek to the west. As their name implies, the mossfoots had particularly thick vegetation on their feet, the descendants of this tribe are Frodo, Bilbo, and Sam. Lightfoots. The smallest nation of hobbits lived north of the others preferred deep forests and forested hills. They were taller and slimmer than the other tribes. They were friends with forest elves, probably the people of King Thranduil, from whom they learned singing and music and loved these arts very much. Practically no agriculture or crafts, instead they liked to hunt forest game. Although the Lightbearers were small in number, later when they mixed with other clans, they often found themselves as chiefs and leaders. Among them were the most passionary, adventurous people. Subsequently, one of the light-faced clans, the Tuki, held the position of Thane of the Shire for generations. To this tribe belongs Peregrine Tuk, Huats, and these are the most physically fit hobbits. They were the only ones who could grow beards and they could swim. The Havats lived along the Anduin River, fishing and sailing on boats they had learned to build. Vats from other races were most friendly with humans, from whom they learned much. It was the humans who taught these hobbits how to wear shoes in cold and wet weather. For this, the Mossfoots and Lightfoots viewed the Havats with suspicion. Another difference between them and the other clans was that they mostly did not dig burrows or inhabit caves, but built ordinary small houses just like humans. The Grip tribe included Mary Brandyback, as well as Gollum. Who is your favorite Hobbit character from The Lord of the Rings?